again. Okay guys, welcome to another Sky Watch. I'm back over these Hazland and Moors. Got some very strange things in them skies over these Moors. Lots of reports. We'll talk about it more after. I'm going to get through these woodlands, which is a very quiet, lonely place at night to be walking. So we'll get this IR on. A bit more light. Let's go and film these skies. See they're crystal clear tonight, these skies are getting darker. As winter is slowly approaching, these nights in the UK are getting darker. That's just the back end of the plough. So we'll get through these other ones. Once these moves, guys, it's looking good. Alright, you guys, let's climb up these moves. I'm sure they're getting steeper. I'm going to be going out over them Pendle Hills Again, very soon, I'm just intrigued with this particular area because of the mountain sightings out there and uh, I love taking a lot of breath, that is steep guys I love taking things to cook over the nice long walks over them roofs, I'll be doing some outdoor cooking before we start sky watching looking forward to getting back over them hills the car has needed a bit of work doing for the LT last few days, got it back now. Could have gone tonight, but I am intrigued with this area, the amount of sightings. Got some very weird things on camera, so we'll film all these Hasland and Moose tonight and get back over Pendle Hill next time. Okay, guys, welcome to another video back over these Hasland and Moose. I made it, steep climb up there. Something very strange filmed in these skies. I didn't see it at the time of filming, only watching back the video. I'll leave the link in the description. What it first looks like, the first split second coming is a meteor. It seems to completely change direction. Not sure what it were. Some people have mentioned it could be possibly the camera and me moving the camera at the time. Check it out, let me know what you think in the comments. So, lovely clay tonight. We'll film these skies. Brilliant. Yeah, these skies are really, really are a lot darker and clearer tonight because these stars are really popping out. That's great. Lots of little lights crossing. Great stuff. Last video. I didn't notice it while I was filming looking back at the camera, there seems to be a meteor and then it seems to change direction. I'm not sure, is it a meteor, is it something else, or was it just the camera angle and me moving the camera, I'm not sure. I'll put it in a short, I'll leave the link, do check it out, because if it's not anything to do with the camera, it is absolutely amazing. Straight to where we've got a light moving across, probably a satellite, like I said in other videos, we've got the satellite apps, the flight apps. But not I'm going to be using it for every light that crosses because I'm going to presume the satellites, unless I find them unusual, and they start moving in an unusual. Oh, it's just passing a bright star there. Unusual ways of no check.
a bit of wispy cloud over there. Or is it? Is it? Contrails, chemtrails, whatever you want to call them, I think. That is from planes, actually. It's lovely clean, isn't it? Winter time is going to be so much darker and clearer. All these very faint little stars you can see are going to be so much brighter, especially when they get over them Pendle Hills, a very remote area. It's going to be great. It's in the last video about meteors, I've filmed quite a few of them. I wonder if anybody has ever filmed two coming in exactly at the same time, what will be the chances of that? That would be an awesome video. Do a flash there, and again, satellite or whatever that is crossing. Something flashing. It's not a plane, as it's not the standard aviation lights flashing. Checking the app now. So it's a bit shaken. Just so using me around to check the app now. No plan, there's something flashing over there. Let's keep our eye on that for a minute. There goes a meteor, so we've got a plane. No, we didn't, we got a satellite, we've got a something flashing in a meteor. Great stuff. Whatever it was, gone now. Which definitely shows that there's no plane. Completely gone. Got two lights moving along the centre screen. Get this camera on them for a while, you never know. Might change the course, the direction, the speed. That'd be great. Back on that part of the sky because as soon as I switch this camera off to change direction and view, I saw a flash and there was another one then. There we go. Anybody knows planes knows that is not the standard. Aviation lights, could be anything. Things tumble, 
the space debris the sun catches them, it's not like the sun catches them and you get a bit of a flicker and a flash into the sky I haven't got too many on them, these sort of things on recent sky watches more of things just crossing the sky rather than things flashing up there so I'm hand holding again tonight and I'm let down this grass it's wet through but it's the only way when you're hard and holding to be comfier and have a steady picture because you imagine your arms above your head when you stood up it's not comfy after a while but even when you're let down you need to move around a bit I'm going to get on a tripod as I was being requested I'd be doing whales back down whales soon all the dark sky down there but we'll put it on a tripod pointing straight up for 10 minutes or so in a future video I'll get a really good look at what's moving around up there Sometimes I just find it easier, more enjoyable when you're hand holding. You see something and you can move it and hopefully get it quick. With your tripod, you'd likely to miss it. So we've got two lights moving a little very faint. I don't know. I'll still see one of them. Like I said, if you're watching these videos and you do have a smart TV, watch it on the TV because it picks up so much more. You can see a lot more on the TV than your phone. A lot brighter. You see all these little lights moving about which you can't really see on your phone. So that's definitely worth it if you really want to see if you can pick anything else up there. Which Looks unusual another sat crossing or whatever it is. I call them sats because most of them are. I know a lot of people say no. Everything up there is a UFO or UAP. But we have got thousands of sats. So we're told. People will argue. So we're told. Yeah, you know, those guys. That's a bit of anything. We only know what we're told. But before I get it in the neck, I do believe that, obviously. There's thousands of satellites up there. That's what all of these things are. A couple of them. Let's take me out. But definitely believe there's more than sats flying about, not just military attack, I'm sure. We are being visited. That's what I'm doing, trying to get evidence. So there we go guys, we've got the moon on the horizon, very low down, it's nearly setting. Yellow in colour, it does look beautiful, I'm going to zoom right up to it. It's never going to be a sharp crystal clear picture, if you want that you need the moon right above your head. Then the light is travelling through less atmosphere. At this angle it's coming through a lot of atmosphere and it gets distorted, but we'll have a look. There we go as you can see, not sharp, we can make out some detail, it's right on the horizon, it's going to set in about 10 minutes, lovely yellow colour. This is the Nikon P1000, if you're interested check out the links in the description, we'll take it to this camera. No one is sharp a picture as it could be if it was right up there above your head. Lovely colour though.
So I'll just leave this camera running for a while, just in case we get anything unusual crossing in front of it. Beautiful, beautiful view though. Check that out, guys. So yeah, great view. As you know, I'm not zoomed right in. Not getting the clues. Picture tonight. So is that where recently the Russians failed and the Indians have landed? A probe on there at the South Pole. Even these cameras come show that. It is interesting to have a good look at it. So it's always interesting to look at the moon and recently the Russians unfortunately crashed their probe on the moon but the Indians landed it. Going to get comments, going to get people saying that's all the bullshit, nobody's been here but that's my opinion. Leave your comments in that comment section about that bit of this subject guys. Have we been to the moon, haven't we? As India got there, did Russia crash? You can only believe what you read on the news, what you see on the news. I'm not really into my conspiracies, to be honest with you. So let me know what you think. So there we go, guys, with all this P1000. It's keeping its eye on the moon over there. Let's focus up to that. Beautiful, beautiful. Moon set, as you can see, is dropping now. We'll see what it films. Okay, so I've noticed quite a few new subscribers coming to the channel. Thank you very much. And uh, my name is Mick. What to do? I've got filming night vision equipment. Using the Cyanix at the moment. I'm trying to get evidence. That's something unexplained up there. We got all. You know the explanations, meteors, sats, planes, liquid shooting star going across there, uh, secret military tech, but I'm trying to get evidence of something off world, UFO, UAP, call it what you want. So that's what the channel's about. So if you do see anything in these videos, do let me know in the comments because I have missed a lot and people have told me what they've seen. I've checked back and yeah, they're right. These things I've missed. Also check out the comments, people tell the stories, not everybody films these things or photographs them, sometimes they happen too quick, they just doubt they see things in the sky. Stories are amazing to listen to. A lot of people do tell the stories, so check out the comments. This is a community. So if you've got any any stories, anything about this subject, do let us know the good conversations get going in the comment section guys. Great stuff. And I'm on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. The links are in the description. Lots of good conversations and things get talked about on there as well. So it's all going on guys. More movements up there. There's a call that corner there. Like a highway up there for whatever, whatever's moving about. Got a few good meteors on film. During the peak of the Percy's meteor show, it were cloudy, a few gaps, but ever since it's been clear, it's typical. You can get meteors in any night. I've got some pretty good ones. And with this camera is a colour night vision, so got colour in these meteors, long green tails. Do check out the channel, check out the videos, guys.
Shooting star. Cool, I love them. Just over there guys we've got Jupiter rising Great stuff It's become very bright all of a sudden. No aviation lights, although there was one flash then. Uh, let me check the flight up. Nothing on the flies out. It's not a plane. Just check that there's a satellite up. <coughs> Excuse me, there doesn't seem to be a satellite. There was one flash. It's not a plane. It seems to have arced over the sky. It's changed direction to what it was going. That is interesting. No idea. Definitely wasn't going in a straight line, seemed to be arcing, but sometimes satellites can seem to arc. They follow the curve of the Earth, but I've checked the app, it's not a satellite, not a plane.
Love it. Interesting. Whatever that is. So here's a plane. I'll just show you the difference. So obvious. The aviation lights, but well, this thing wasn't showing on any of the apps. And there it goes. Plane that guys. But like filming planes, like I say, you never know. Some of the things I've seen following planes. Feel a bit uneasy again up on these mirrors. A lot of rustling coming from these woodlands over there. There's going to be animals. A lot of deer around here. Put the IR light on. Hey, do that just in case. I move the camera and there's some. There's someone stood there watching. That would shoot me up. Just for that second, then I'll ask them. I would ask them what the fuck they're doing. Stood there stirring. It's never happened yet. few clouds moving in but nothing too much
Okay, so there goes the moon. It is setting now. Some great views through the P1000, but you can see the position never as clear. If you want some crystal clear footage right above your head, this is never as clear. There's a big flash over there. Doesn't forecast any storms, but well, there we go. So I was saying it's never going to be as clear on the horizon like that as it is right above your head if you want to view the moon. That was interesting. There we go. Who knows? So what I'm going to do is put this camera on the trap. I'll point it straight up for a few minutes as I was being requested. Did it in Wales. See what's moving around up there, guys. So there we go, we're pointing straight up, it's a little bit hazy, it's not as clear as it was, but we'll just keep it pointing for a few minutes, see what we get. All right, guys, back hand holding again. Let me know if you did see anything unusual in that footage. I will check it back myself, but it's been proven time and time again I do miss. 
quite a lot and people comment saying the same things so have a look and let me know I'm doing a scout watch over Pendle Hill tomorrow night that's in Lancashire UK very remote very remote area well known for the Pendle witches supposed to be one of the most paranormally active places in the UK and what they're on my own all night should be interesting so if you're interested in anything like this please do subscribe guys leave me a comment I'll always reply to you thumbs up the video helps with the algorithms would be much appreciated So like I always say, leave me a comment, I'll always reply. Please do thumbs up the video, it helps with them algorithms. So difficult these days on YouTube, so many millions of videos are getting uploaded every year. So the uh, interaction, the comments and the thumbs up definitely helps. And I'll always reply. Quite often good conversations get going in, the, in that comment section, so... If you haven't filmed anything, if you haven't photographed anything unusual, if you've seen something, tell your story. A lot of people do, because not everybody has time to film or photograph these things. Sometimes they don't have the camera on them, other times they happen too quick. Well, it's definitely a plane guys, it's on the Alp. No need to look at the Alp for this, you can see the aviation lights. Well, there we go, the moon has gone, it's set. I would like to know what them flashes were. There's some cloud over there, but there is no storms forecast tonight. Interesting.
So like I say in all the videos, a lot of things crossing can be explained. Some may be secret military tech, but we're after these lights crossing. Which you think is satellite and they suddenly stop, change speed, change direction. And it's not a satellite. Satellites can seem to arc across the sky as they follow the curves of the earth, but not stop and change direction and speed. If you see that, you're not looking at a satellite. Since we've got this Sionics, we've got some clear skies, but they have been quite hazy, you know that. Haziness you get up there, never too dark. It's a lot darker tonight, a lot clearer. So like I've said in other videos, we're about 25 miles away from Manchester Airport, you get a lot of planes coming in and taking off, flying over this direction. So they can fool you if they're coming in with the landing lights on. Sometimes they don't seem to be moving, they're very bright in the sky. So you gotta watch them for a while. Unless you have the uh, fly taps so you can check them. But well, that's a plane and a couple more planes over there. There's a plane. There's something else moving up there, probably a sap. So as you can see with these cameras, you see that light sheen in the sky. That's a building down there we come across. You got a four miles, it really does pick up light. That's the problem with these mirrors, it is a very odd area to be honest with you. Lots of sightings of strange things in the skies, but also lots of farm buildings about which are sort of distorting that blackness in the sky. Light pollution whatever you want to call it, but the Pendle Hills are pitch black, so that's the difference over there, that's why I'm looking forward to getting back over them hills. So yeah, the plough, I mentioned in a video, I've never seen anything moving across the plough. I'm talking satellites, meteors or anything else unusual, simple planes, there's one there, and a couple of people did reply saying they haven't either They've never seen any satellite move across the Plow constellation. If you have, definitely let me know there's another plane. I thought for the first time I've seen something, but I have seen planes. But never a satellite crossing in that direction. I do a bit of traffic about half a mile from the main road, so it's only what time we on 11 o'clock in Hill so there's traffic around. That's why I like Pendle Hill, so quiet up there. Absolute peace and quiet. Let's keep me around these little sats because I'm have to change direction and speed, that's what we're out for. Also any planes, I follow them and all the planes. Don't need an app to tell me the planes. But so many reports of these sorted of little lights following planes. That's what I'm after as well. 
could be coincidence, obviously it could be a satellite there in a plane crossing, makes it look like it's been followed by a light, but it's in fact it's just a satellite. Up in the sky, many, many miles away from the plane, so it's hard to tell. Difficult subject, guys, to try and prove anything. There's a guy called John Newman in the States, always impressed by his videos. I think he uses uh, a good night vision monocular and attaches his phone to it, but gets some really good footage and really good interesting footage things moving about. I'll leave a link to John's channel. Well worth looking. That is that. He does get some very bright things crossing them skies and Anthony from an Unidentified S4, excellent podcast about this subject. I'll leave the link to Anthony, a good friend of mine from New York. There's many more, many more old name and future videos. Too many to think of now and list off. Because I'm bound to forget someone. So I'll point the camera straight up, like I said on other videos here, you look about sky watching. You want to see things moving about, satellites, stuff like that. Point your camera straight up, that's where most of them seem to cross. Someone crossing up there, and if you watched the last video, sorry if I sounded like Darth Vader, full of a cold. So I was heavy breathing on the camera, but there we go. We'll catch something very unusual, already got some very odd things on camera. Very strange things moving about, and that thing I thought were a meteor, what changed direction I think. Unless it was, the movement of the camera was very odd, so uh, the link is in the description for that, check it out. Let me know what you think. Another plane, but always worth filming them for a few seconds. Some of the things reported following planes. Night time, if there's a light following, it could be sat obviously a lot further up. But a lot of videos in the daytime of physical lights, orbs, tic tacs, calling what you want following planes. And there you can rule out a satellite, you just can't see them in the daytime, obviously.
neck ache, that's what you get doing this when you stood up. Got a plane there to check the Alp. Yeah. Sometimes on the Alp, they seem quite far apart, but there's another one, so there's two planes. I'm looking forward to filming some of the winter constellations, like I said, a lot brightest stars, darkest skies in the UK in winter, Orion, the Pleiades. Absolutely lovely to look at. Nothing too unusual so far tonight, but you've got to be out. Like I always say, it's like fishing, you could be out all night, you can catch something, or oh, maybe you won't, but you've got to try. See a nice still night, very still, a little bit colder. No, the nights are getting longer, especially on clear nights like this. But I do love them winter crisp nights. I did a sky watch once, it was minus 14, which for the UK is cold. Always a bit eerie when you're out on your own over these mirrors. I've got used to it by now. But I do always turn around, it sounds like there's somebody walking up behind you, but. 
the sheep are on this deer and you mind pull his tricks with you. Like I said, it's not happened yet, there are other people want to come along, it just hasn't been convenient for them. I'm going to get over these pendant hills, I'll put it on the channel, anybody wants to come up. Do a bit of scout watching, you're more than welcome. Do a bit of cooking, a bit of a walk before dark and then scout watch. So, some good videos coming up there, some different people in them. So guys, if you do see anything, do let me know in the comments because, like I said, I do miss a lot. It's hard to see things through this screen on the camera. And even when I watch them back, you do miss things. Plenty of people have pointed things out. I've had to look back and thought, oh yeah, I didn't see that. What is that? So let me know in the comments. Okay guys, great stuff. Really looking forward to checking back this footage. Like I said in another video, you can't really tell off the little screen you get on the camera. It's not until you check that back. The footage on the lads on the phone, or uh, most little load of YouTube, the TV. Do you really notice things? I've missed many things, so do watch throughout the video. If you see anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, definitely on the TV is the best way to watch videos like this, the stories, and everything up there really shows a lot clearer than it does on your phone. I watch on my phone 
watch on the TV, I see a lot more on the TV, so do check that out. Please do like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Back out soon. Get yourself out, get yourself a night vision camera. The skies are getting darker. Winter's coming in the northern hemisphere in the UK, so great stuff. Hopefully lots of really clean nights coming up. You lot take care guys. Speak soon.